Side lying is a really potent tool in my practice and working on people. I get lots of options from this position that massage therapists in my experience don't use a lot of. Massage therapists ourselves often are leaning over a table, we're rolling uh, our chest forward, meaning we're shortening pec and pec minor, and also serratus anterior. Serratus is a great muscle to address from the side. When I'm working on a woman, it's very easy for breast tissue to fall forward. They're clothed, they feel safe. I can come in with a forearm here, and I can actually maybe lean and sit with my back to her back just so she feels safe, secure, supported. How's that right there, Kristen? Good. Okay. I'm going to slowly fold her arm down. How's that there? Good. There we go. If I give you little circles, okay. Do you want my uh, forearm to go like higher up towards the shoulder? Whatever. Okay. Well, let's try it just a little higher. How's that right there? Good. A little more tender? Mm. Okay. If I'm forward, or back? Which one do you like? Backwards. Backwards? Okay. And then up and down, little jostles good? Mm -hmm. I'm using a broad portion, not so much the ulna on my um, forearm. So it's a little bit more of the soft forearm uh, flexors that are pressing in to give her some pressure there. If I decide I want a little more oomph, I can always press down to kind of push my arm uh, into her by using her own body, kind of opening up the shoulder joints. Lots of clients are having problems with this and it's why their shoulder blades are rolling forward. You can move increasingly to a point, but broad pressure in the beginning usually works best. I find people feel like they're um, being stabbed if you go too fast, too sharp in this area. But this is a really great area to work on clients that they're having problems with. <clears throat> It'll make your work stand out. Many therapists I find aren't working on this area. And it's something that if you're a massage therapist trading with other therapists, you're gonna to wanna to check this. How's that right there? Good. There we go. Now, do you want pressure down or up? Mm. Down. down, okay. Once I'm down, do you want posterior or anterior? Mm. Whichever. Whichever, right there. What about a little jostle? There we go. This area can be inordinately tender on people. It's causing lots of problems in the upper back, the neck, the shoulder joint because the radius anterior is pulling the shoulder blade forward. And the shoulder blade tends to be the gatekeeper, in my experience, to the cervical spine. If we can get the shoulder blade to kind of float on the back, it seems like it opens up the chest and it deals with some of the imbalance that clients often feel and often the tension that massage therapists ourselves that we feel.